it's Wendy Kerr here from Corporate Crossovers. Are you too nice when you network? There have been lots and lots of studies done over the years which start to exemplify the difference between men and women in business. And what's come out of these studies is that women are much more relational in business and men are very transactional. And let's not change the world here, that's just the way it is. But think about this when you're networking. So many times when I have networking meetings or follow-up meetings after the networking, they end up being a nice chat over a cup of tea. And look, don't get me wrong, we all need nice chats over cups of tea, but sometimes they're not building my business. And when I know how much my time is worth, I have to make those minutes count. Now I'm not suggesting that we get very mercenary here and sell, sell, sell every time we have a networking meeting. In fact, quite the reverse. I want you to start thinking about what is my objective here? What can I learn about the other person that may help my business? What can I learn about what they're involved in or what their business is doing that could help me help myself? Let me give you an example. Recently I met an interior designer for a coffee and I don't need to get my home redesigned and I knew that I wanted to talk more to interior designers because they're women business owners, so perfect for my target market. So my objective in meeting with her was to find out about other interior design networking groups in London. So we had a fantastic meeting and I asked her this quick question and wouldn't you know it, she actually ran a networking group and I ended up speaking for them. So your action after this video is to start setting objectives for every follow-up networking meeting you have. Create an objective that will help you find out something about their business that will help you with yours or a piece of information that you probably know they have. Don't waste your time, your time is too precious. Enjoy your networking meetings and try to keep the momentum alive by really building on something solid for your business moving forward. I would love to know how you get on with this, so please send me your comments. And if you've found this useful, then please share it with your friends and your colleagues. Until next time, bye bye.